Well, good afternoon, Crossroads DT. Checking back with you out here off Happy Jack Road again in our new campsite. And well, this is a little peak of it. We got some woods behind us all around. Sorry for the wind. Another windy day here. But uh, we're hitting 70 day with the sun out. That's a blessing because it's it's been. Oh, mid 60s for a couple days with drizzle and rain and a lot of wind. So it is a beautiful day here. And the nights are cooling down. We're starting to push towards the 40s. Change of season here. But this mountain back here, and again, sorry for this wind. It's so beautiful first thing in the morning, the sun coming up hitting that. That's a spectacular view. But got our own little pine trees right here. Nice little camp, uh, campfire area. We've got the solar out on both sides. We're, we're facing south, so we're getting. Or see, yeah, we're facing south, so we're getting good, uh, good sun. And no, uh, we're facing north. Excuse me. And uh, whoop, there goes hummingbirds. They're looking for food again. And there's some beautiful spots over this hill here down in the woods but I'd never be able to get out the roads too rough and whatnot but uh, uh like I say we just got through Labor Day weekend here there was a full full house there was about 10 rigs up here we're all several hundred yards apart and it's uh, a lot of people out here enjoying the week with their kids doing everything you do and it's such a nice to see everybody out having a good time so, anyway, well, all good things come to an end sometimes. Our, uh, our mule here, as we got ready to leave the last campsite, started running terrible. And boy, I'm praying to the Lord, going, make it an easy one, Lord. Not in the budget for anything major. And uh, a couple days ago, we are over here. We got towed over here, okay. We towed our rig over. And uh, woke up about, I don't know, one o'clock at night, talking to the Lord, and he says, pull the cowl off the back. So, quite a project to pull with these vans to get to the engine. You've got to pull this, this this is the internal cowl, we call, or a hood. And you got to pull some dashboard apart. And you got to pull the, the seat out and uh, to get the cowl all the way. But uh, that's typical on these newer vans. And... And uh, lo and behold, there was one of these uh, fuel injector wires on the other side uh, chewed completely in half. And, you know, we've been fighting these critters out here. Last year, last several years, it's been just mice. But we got these huge rats, and now we got chipmunks, and, you know, don't have any problem inside the mule here, just underneath the hood. And I've been using traps. Started out with moss traps. Went to uh, rat traps, got a couple big ones, sticky traps, buckets of water, anything to keep these critters out of here. You know, we've been blessed for the first three years pretty good, no problems. But this year, like I say, it's uh, we've been seeing them all around, and uh, so I was a blessing. You know, the engine light come on and the transmission light come on and devils in there. Making me think the worst, and and I said, well, like I say, I'll call up my my buddy electrician down in down in Laramie. Got it, got him scheduled. So went there this morning, and he fixed that uh, chewed up wire. No doubt, no doubt, it was from a rodent, and uh, chewed it clear in half. And uh, then I asked him, you know, what what's the locals here do for to try to stop this stuff from going on? He says in town they have more problems with cottontail bunny rabbits chewing everything up. But he says dryer sheets. So I went and got some dryer sheets. And I'm just using clothespins and pinning them everywhere. He says you change them about once a month and that'll help a lot. I've got these solar lights because I keep the hood up at night if it's not raining. And they also say the critters don't like to be in the light they're, they come out of dark so lights help 
been using sticky traps, getting a few with them. Uh, got the heavy duty rat traps here. And <laughs> now, now we got dryer sheets. And we just tie them up everywhere around here. They say they don't like the smell of these dryer sheets. So praise God, we'll find out. But this guy really took care of me. He's down there at Cat's Automotive in Laramie. He, he's a electrical engineer for for uh, automobiles. That's what he's been trained for. And boy, he knows his stuff and very reasonable. And uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get his card. Anybody that gets around here in Laramie gets into car trouble. If he can't fix it, he knows somebody that does. And uh, here's his card here. Cats Auto Electric. Fremont Street, Laramie. His name is John Summers. Very nice man. Good family man. Always talking about his kids. And uh, always doing stuff with them. A pleasure to work with. Pleasure to talk to. I just thank God it. He lined us up to somebody that can take care of me when I get these issues. I've had a couple other electrical issues. Uh, nothing with the engine. It was more with a trailer hitch and stuff. And he's fixed them. But uh, praise God, we're it's running good again and and uh, running like the mule that it is. And like I say, it's just a blessing to be out here today. Here's a little something tree at it. Her artwork there. How about that? We got protection at the door, not only with a Doberman, but a grizzly bear. And uh, what do you think, honey? Enter think... at your own risk. Yeah. <laughs> and we're starting to work on the electrical here for the solar panels getting these things tucked away we got some chase work going on here getting these wires tied up so they're not going to be hanging down anymore and uh there's always something to do out here never a boring day and uh that was a good help getting them that started and now i'm gonna get them tied up on the other side for the other panels and then uh Get, a, get the wires tucked away and I'll get the switch hooked up. They're getting relocated to the inside and we, I've got a switch to, to uh, uh, turn on for either set of panels. Either for the this big side here or the other side. So that'll help regulate it without disconnecting wires and stuff. So Anyway, well we're just having a great day out here. Nice to have some good sunshine again. And, like I say, we're change of season. We're starting to push the 40s at night. A little nippy in the morning. But uh, we're, we're thankful we don't have to do those 80s and 90s everywhere else. But uh, so anyway, while we're checking in with you, we'll let you go. We thank you for coming along today. And, and uh, if you're new to the channel, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like. And we'll talk to you later. We're going to finish off with Romans 8.28 today. And we know that all things work together for the good of the, to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. Thank you, Lord. And we'll, we'll do one more with Jeremiah 29.13. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Amen. All right, well, we love you and miss y'all. Like I say, if you would, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, helps the channel, and we'll talk to you later, and always, we're praying for you and your family. We love you and miss you, and you all have a wonderful day. Signing off here from Laramie, Wyoming. Oh, that's a beautiful spot over there. Wouldn't mind being right on top. Anyway, you all have a great day. God's peace with you. Bye-bye.